hey guys welcome back to another exciting video as i mentioned in my nexus 5 review today we are diving into the world of custom roms for this device while the nexus 5 originally runs on android 6 we are going to explore a rom based on android 8.1 so today we have the Resurrection Remix ROM, the final stable version for the Nexus 5. There are few unofficial versions of this ROM available based on Android 9 and 10. And I will be checking out those ROM along with few other ROMs in the future. But for now, let's focus on this ROM and delve into its features. First off, let's take a look at the Android version and security patch level. So it's running on as you can see about phone android 8.1 and the security patch level is december 5 2018 security patch level is doesn't matter right now because we're just trying to uh, make this device usable so in that case the security patch level is doesn't matter although this rom is running on android 8.1 audio not the latest and greatest but it is still well supported this rom is based on aosp and so design is completely like the stock rom but unlike the stock ROM, this ROM comes with tons of customization, uh, which we will get into later. Now, diving into the setting, we have everything working flawlessly like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile network, even NFC is working flawlessly. So there is no issue with networking and everything is working just fine. As you can see, my SIM card is here and it is working and I did receive phone calls and it's working. The Wi-Fi is connected right now, as you can see here. Bluetooth is also working, I did try and NFC is also working. So there is no issue related to connectivity. Moving to the display section, we have all the options we get with stock ROM, but there are few extra features here in the live display section. So in the live display section, we can choose display mode, color temperature and grayscale and we can also calibrate the color according to our liking. There is also uh, style section so if we go here and style section so in the style section you can enable dark mode so if i go to style and enable the dark mode so as you can see it is dark now if you don't want pure dark you can toggle this off and it will be like grayish dark so whatever you like you can do so as you can see here for the sake of the video i'm going to keep it in the light mode i really like the dark mode here although dark mode not going to save any battery in this device because it's got an lcd panel so it's not going to help but still it's okay the dark mode looks good on this device sound is as usual there is nothing new or no extra features at all storage wise we have 12 gb available to play with in the security and privacy setting we have screen lock options so if i go to screen lock and as you can see here we have swipe pattern pin and password this device doesn't support finger pin and there is no face unlock option too but if you select pattern unlock you will find pattern size so if you want to make the device a little more secure you can choose whatever you like usually i keep it in three by three but if you want to make it more secure you can use different pattern size now on to the battery it's holding up pretty well even better than the stock rom and when you plug in the charger uh, it will show you the charging information as you can see now it's taking 740 milliamp and the voltage is 3.9 volt and the the temperature of the device is 40 degrees celsius so the quite good for those who look for how much power it's taking so the information is available moving to the customization there are many things we can play with so in the setting as you can see there is an option called configuration so under the configuration we will find all the customization option you can modify the ui according to your liking one feature i miss is the lack of double tap to work option but you can double tap on the status bar to turn off the display also you are getting three finger swipe to take a screenshot so there are a lot of things available here so whatever you need or the way you want you can customize the ui so i have done few modification here like battery icon and also the clock position i change it and also i change the font 
so you can do that too so all those features are available as you can see even there are some features available with the navigation buttons but there is no on screen gesture option here because it's based on android 8 maybe on android 9 you will see that now let's talk about the camera the rom comes with a camera application which is snapdragon camera application which we get with most of the rom so it does work everything works perfectly fine but if you want gcam for this device you can directly download it from play store so as you can see i have downloaded the gcam and it is working flawlessly no issue with the camera so the camera does work perfectly fine as you expect from the this device so that's all about the camera before flashing this rom there are few things to consider this rom doesn't come with gfs so you will have to flash the gfs separately however when you try to install gfs from twrp you will encounter some errors to counter this actually you will need to install magisk first and flush the gfs directly from the magisk so if you go to magisk option and you can go to module and you can select internal storage and you can select your module directly from here and flash it so after gfs installation you will need to manually update play store and player service usually play store and play service update automatically but in this rom it's not doing that so you have to do it manually after that everything will work perfectly fine so that's all about android 8.1 for the nexus 5 the rom link and the other files link will be in the description below thank you very much for watching and i will catch you in the next one